Thank you, Lord, for the life you give. Amen. The life you give. Breath of life today. Let your praise fill up my lungs. Yes. Let it come out as a beautiful expression yeah. of gratitude, a beautiful expression of honor, a beautiful expression of worship. Let songs come from our mouths today, Lord. Not just in this space this morning, but let us let us put on praise like garments today. Let us put it on like a brand new coat, a brand new suit, and wear praise well. Lord, that the world would see and know that you are good. That the world would see and know that you alone are God and that you alone are worthy of the praise. You're the only thing that's worth anything good. You're the only thing that's worth anything that's that's worthy of our adoration and our devotion and our time. Our focus, Lord, it's you. It's only you. You're worthy of it all. So we give it to you today. We thank you for all that you set before us today. We thank you that you're hearing our prayers, that you're giving us answers. Even in the moment, before we even speak the prayer, Lord, you brought in the answer. You have, you're helping us come into alignment and meet the space where, you, where the answer is already there. And as we just trust you, as we let you lead, as we let you take us by the hand, and lead us one step at a time, Lord. We trust your heart. We trust your ways. We trust your wisdom. Way beyond our own thinking. Way beyond our own ways. So we realign our minds. We realign our focus to focus on you today, Lord. We give you our lives. We give you this time. We give you, we give you this city, Lord. We give you the church here. In Roseburg, in Douglas County, Lord, we give you, we give you, we say, come and do what is in your heart to do, Lord. Come and do all that burns in you to, to see your kingdom come and your will be done right here in Douglas County. As it is in heaven. That it would move across this state and that Roseburg would be a beacon of light sweeping across the northwest across the rest of this nation and that there will be a great reformation a great movement in the hearts of people drawing drawing us to your our father and turning the hearts of your children to you Lord right now some that even even have, haven't even known that they've been adopted by you Spirit is coming off of them right now in Jesus' name. And they're seeing for the first time that you're a good, good father. And they're loved by you. Lord, we want to be in pursuit of all that you are, all that Jesus has won for us. Let that be our motivation. Let that be our focus. Let that be our passion. Lord, I want to pray right now for this weekend up in Portland. I want to pray for every person that's going to come to try and for trauma. I want to pray for those people that are on the fence about it. And I ask, Lord, that you would just draw them there. That they would be so drawn to come. They would be, their hearts would be so open to receive. Lord, we're so thankful. For this opportunity to share your truth. Yes, Lord. And may it change this church in Portland. May it change Central Christian. May it move, Lord, as it's already been doing, but even more, Lord, we're asking for more. We're thanking you, God, for the ways that you're providing and releasing this uh, into our, our state, into this region. So that people can be healed and empowered to be who they were created to be. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's make some declarations. Wahoo! 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 Where's the declarator? Come on. Yeah. That's my southern coming out. It just creeps out every once in a while.
let's uh, let's make some declarations about how heaven is working for us today. So let's say this: My angels, my angels are carrying out the word of God. your heart last night as you slept? That's what the word says. <laughs> that your angels, the angels that have set charge over you, notice it's plural, you don't just have one guardian angel, but your angels are there and they, one of their jobs is to minister to you in the night while you sleep. So good. Let's say this, all attacks that were headed my way, all attacks that were headed my way, are diverted right now, are diverted right now, by angelic protection, by angelic protection, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I declare peace, I declare peace, over the raging waters in my mind, over the raging waters in my mind, my emotions, my emotions, my body, my body, and my family. And my family. I say peace be still. I say peace be still. To each of these areas of my life. To each of these areas of my life. I speak to every mountain of discouragement, I speak to every mountain of discouragement, or stress, or, or depression, or, depression or, lack. or lack, and I cast you into the sea, I cast you into the sea, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and I speak to this day, I speak to this day, I call you blessed, I call you blessed, I declare I serve a mighty God, I So I'm like frantically trying to find, I had to run back here and get the sound system and stuff. But I just felt led to pray over the uh, over the church because they, they have really supported what we do and made it possible for Celebrate Recovery to happen. And there's so many people getting set free and healed um, there. It's just amazing. And so um, anyways, so at, we just stopped to pray. Uh, in the middle of our worship time to just say, Lord, heal the sound system and heal the computer. And the pastor texted me and said, hey, I'm coming in at 8 o'clock. I, I need to know to look at this thing, what's going on. And so we just prayed, and they showed up at 8 o'clock, and uh, they turned everything on. And we had already rebooted the system like two or three times. Nothing had changed. They come in, they turn it on, and everything's working fine. He turned so, around, the, I was there. Right? He turned around and he goes, what you do, pray over this? Yeah. <laughs> So that we, we still need they still need their uh, one of their operating systems that they use uh, is not functioning properly on the computer and so um, we just tell that to be solved and, right. and work perfectly in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, anyway, so I just love the fact that God cares about every small detail. There's no prayer too small. Okay. Right. <laughs> I remember hearing a sermon or a time when you know it was. He was the god of the parking spot where you know you're you're going around and you just you don't have time and you're like Lord I need a parking spot in the front row and I need it right now because you know what's going on and boom he opens up things I have some little things that is so awesome I know and so and so we uh, I just want to want to thank God that he is in, he's in the details of life every little thing he he cares about the every detail of your life. And he's excited to reveal himself through it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.
was called God Chasers. Yeah, God Chasers. Yeah. Tommy yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Yep, Tommy yeah. Kimmy. Chasing after your heart. So how many of us worry sometimes? Worry sometimes? <laughs> what? Or, we worry? Or spend the night, you know, processing things at night going on in your in your life. And sometimes you don't just you don't sleep very well and you just spend time um, you know churning, churning on things. Now, I can confess that typically I don't do that. When I hit the pillow, I sleep deeply. Um, and that was not true last night. And, and uh, I woke up to read Isaiah 28. And uh, it was kind of, I was kind of pressed on time because getting things ready to head up to Portland today. But I got into it, and, and I just went, ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Whoever believes in him will not worry. So I'll read the whole thing, and then I'm going to read it out of the New Testament, too, because Paul quotes it. And he uses a different word when he quotes it, which is kind of interesting. So it kind of hits two areas that the enemy hits us with. That is worry and shame. Both of those are not from God. Both of those are directly from the enemy. And, and part of unbelief. So this is what the Almighty Lord says. I love it that Isaiah repeats that over and over. This is where truth comes from. This is what God says about us. Amen. Everybody say, this is what God says. Yeah. So here's what he says. I'm going to lay a rock inside. Everybody know who the rock is? This rock is Jesus. Anna, isn't the rock your favorite, one of your favorite names for Jesus? Jesus, my rock. I know you've shared several things. A rock that has been tested, a precious cornerstone, a solid foundation, and whoever believes in him will not worry. So then Paul is applying this and actually talking about Israel in, he, uh, in Romans 8, 9, and 10, and actually goes into it even at 11. At the end of chapter 9, he quotes this scripture but he, but he uses a different word. I'm placing a rock in Zion, a large rock that some people find offensive. That's true. And it's true. Some people find offensive. But whoever believes in him will not be ashamed. Amen. Take away worry. Take away shame. without worry and without shame. Can we just all imagine that today? Can we just imagine that today? Our lives without worry, without shame. That the enemy comes in because Jesus came in to be the rock. And then I was thinking of the scripture that God gave us a year ago right after um, the UCC horrible tragedy, the, the shooting that took place, and we actually shared it in, at UCC on, in December when we came and shared uh, about hope. place and this is he 
Hebrews 6, 19. But we have this hope and confidence. See, that takes away worry and shame. But we have this hope and confidence. What are we going to hold on to? As a sure and strong anchor for our lives. Everybody say, everybody say sure, sure and strong. And strong. Yeah. Yeah. And this confidence goes right into the holy place behind the curtain. This confidence takes us right, right into the presence. Right into the mercy seat. Right into the covering. Right into all that Jesus did for us. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yes. Right is, by the way, that, that was, I love that teaching when on the mercy seat.
as one with God's Spirit. Today's verse is 2 Corinthians 2, 14 and 15. It says, But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in a triumphal procession. Yes. Yeah. And through us spreads the fragrance that comes from knowing Him. Everything. You know you smell like God. Amen. <laughs> He's just leading you around. Let another get a whiff. Of how much? <laughs> it says, "For we are the aroma of Christ to God." Among those who are being saved and among yes. those who are perished. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. So as we declare these statements over our life today, let's believe that we will be refreshed and renewed. Amen? Yes. Amen. Let's say these together. I rejoice, I rejoice in the fact that I am seated in heavenly places, I am seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. And I'm full of his life and power. And I'm full of his life and power. It is impossible. It is impossible. To be in his presence. To be in his presence. And not be changed. And not be changed. As I soak. As I soak. Uh, in the substance of his divine love. In the substance of his divine love. And divine help. And divine help. And I breathe in his virtue and fragrance. And I breathe in his virtue and fragrance. It affects my whole body and soul. It affects my whole body and soul. As I meditate on this new day, as I meditate on this new day, I see myself, I can see myself having a great spiritual impact. Having a great spiritual impact everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. God shows me, God shows me how to release healing, how to release healing and deliverance to people. And deliverance to people. My spirit is quickened. With excitement, with excitement to demolish sickness and bondage, to demolish sickness and bondage, and I feel loved, and I feel loved, empowered, empowered, and trusted by Him, and trusted by Him. I radiate His presence. I radiate His presence. I radiate His presence as I talk with people. As I talk with people, some begin to cry. Because of, because of his presence. Some laugh. Some laugh. Some shake. Some shake. And some may not outwardly respond. Some may not outwardly respond. But all feel his presence. But all feel his presence. And love. And love. I bring powerful love encounters to people. I bring powerful love encounters to people. Which instantly frees them. Which instantly frees them. From the consequences of their past. From the consequences of their past. How fun it is! How fun it is! To release the fragrance of him. To release the fragrance of him. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I look for the effect of his presence. I look for the effect of his presence. As I go through my day. As I go through my day. Today is fun and powerful. Today is fun and powerful. The Holy Spirit wants me to tell you something. Uh, and me too. But Notice that as we go around with the fragrance, we're not having to say anything. Amen. We're just holding the atmosphere of Amen. love. Amen. We're just holding the atmosphere of acceptance. We're carrying the atmosphere of healing yes. wherever we go because he's in us. Yes. And, and we are, and so this is the fragrance. This is not about us talking people into That's right. the kingdom or into correction. or anything. This right. is about being and caring in such a way that they encounter the love of God just being around you. Amen. That's the end of the Francis, Francis of Assisi that said that. He said, spread the good news if necessary. You, you heard right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So notice that we're doing that today. Notice what God has for you today. And if you're, here's uh, the other picture I got was, if you're going to smell like God, if you're going to smell like God, then you got to spend some time rubbing up on him. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, 
That's good. I mean, when you, right. my dad, when, he, when I was younger, you know, he wore a fruit that was, that was his, that was his fragrance. And, and as a little boy, as I would hug on my dad, I would have brute on me. I would have that smell. And I just, I got that. I said, in order for us to have the smell of God on us, we got to come up into his lap. we got to be rubbing on him and letting him wrap his arms around us. Okay? So let's just let that encounter happen today so that we can take it out into other people. Amen? Yes. Yes. Let's have an awesome day, guys. Oh, great. Yeah. I'm <laughs> 